Hitch Pin. A hitch pin is a quick release pin used in rapid release applications. Each pin contains a hole to allow a hair cotter pin that looks like a heavy duty bobby pin to secure and lock it in place. Moving on to the part code guide. Hitch pins are composed of a 15 digit smart part code. All important attributes of the pin are broken up into categories and listed out on the part code guide. Follow the color-coded guide to translate the description into an innovative components part number. Located at the bottom of each guide is the layout of the smart part code. Use this to guide you when creating a part code. To start, take notice that the product listed in red is a hitch pin. All hitch pin part numbers will be a two-digit designator taking up the very first two spaces. All hitch pins will start with HP. Next we move on to the orange section labeled pin diameter. All but one pin diameter will be listed within two digits in spaces number three and number four of the part code. Each fractional diameter translates to a two-digit designator. Exception. The 3 16 diameter will be listed out using the three digits in spaces number three, four, and five. In cases of a 3 16 pin, we are simply to move the rest of the part code over by one digit. A 3 16 diameter would equal a 3 1 6 in a part number format. When we get to the specials in purple, we reduce the special space allotment by one to recalibrate and keep within the 15 digit part code. A quarter inch diameter would become 4x within the part number. Next we move on to the green section called effective, usable, or grip length. There are four places allocated to this attribute located in spaces number five, six, seven, and eight of the part code. The first digit is a whole number in space number five. Imagine as if there is a period after the first whole number. Spaces number six, seven, and eight are saved for any decimal places. If a pin is four inches in length, you would see four, zero, zero, zero here. If a pin is two and a half inches in grip length, you would see two, five, zero, zero here. Next, we move on to the blue section called handle length. There is one space allocated to this attribute in space holder number nine. Depending on the handle length, specify if the across the handle length is small, medium, or large using an S, M, or L. If the size does not match any of the options, use an X for special. An X tells the team to refer to the parts description or blueprint to identify what exactly is special or custom about this part. Next we move on to the vinyl coating. There is one space allocated to this attribute in placeholder number 10. If the handle has a smooth jacket on it, which is usually done via dipping the pin in a liquid that hardens, we would specify the color of the jacket here. If there is no jacket, we use a dash. Next we move on to the purple section called specials. We reserve three spaces, 11, 12, and 13 for this attribute. In cases where there is nothing special to note, enter three dashes here. In cases where there is something special to note, enter an X in any one of the spaces and dashes in the rest. Next we move on to the fuchsia attribute called pin material. This section is in regards to what type or grade of material the pin is made out of. We allocate one space in space holder number 14 for the material of the pin. Common materials are listed out. The standard steel or grade 2 steel becomes a 2 in a part code, whereas a grade 5 steel becomes a 5 in a part code. Lastly, we move on to the gray attribute called plating. We reserve one space in space holder number 15 for the plating of the pin. Common platings are listed out. We do not ever plate stainless, so in cases of a stainless steel material pin, we would use a zero for plating, aka plain. Zinc and yellow is a popular plating of these pins, so you will often see a two in this space holder. Now that we know how to use the part code guide, let's move on to the practice quiz and put it to use. Hitch pin quiz number one. Three sixteenths by nine hitch pin with a two and three quarter handle in steel, zinc, and yellow. To start, the part code guide shows we need to use an HP for this product category. The diameter is a three sixteenths. We would enter in a three one six. Next, we identify the effective or usable length. Nine inches is the grip length. We would enter nine inches as nine zero zero zero. Next, we identify the handle length. This handle is called out two and three quarters handle. That translates to an M. Next we move on to the vinyl coating. This particular description does not specify any kind of coating, so we would put an automatic dash. Then we have space holders. Typically we have three places for space holders, but because we have a 3 16 pin that shifted everything down by one, we're going to drop to two space holders for specials so we can recalibrate the part number and keep within the 15 digit part code. Enter two dashes in space holders. Then we move on to pin material. 
this pin material says steel. Steel is also known as grade 2 low carbon steel or in a part code a 2. Then we have the plating. The plating is called out as zinc and yellow. Zinc and yellow translates to a 2 within the part code. Number 1's part code will read HP 316-9000-M-22. Dash, 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 two, two. Number 2. Quarter by 3.5 inch hitch pin with a 1 and 3 8 yellow vinyl handle in steel, zinc, and yellow. The part code is going to start with an HP. Then we move on to identify the pin diameter. In this case, the pin diameter is a quarter. A quarter translates to a 4X. Then we identify the effective or grip length. It is 3.5 inches. We take 3.5 and, and translate it to a decimal, which is 3500. Zero, zero. Then we identify the handle length. The handle length is 1 and 3 eighths. That is a small handle, or an S in the part code. Then we identify if there's a vinyl coating. This description reads yellow vinyl handle. The part code guide shows yellow equals Y. We enter a Y into the part code. Next we have specials. There's nothing else special about this part other than the yellow vinyl, so we're going to enter three dashes within the three placeholders allocated for specials. Then we have pin material. The pin material is our standard steel. Standard steel translates to a 2 within a part code. Then we have plating. The plating is called out as zinc and yellow. Zinc and yellow translates to a 2 within a part code. Number 2's part code would read HP4X3500SY-22. Dash, 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 two, two. Number 3. 5 16 by 4 and 3 quarter hitch pin with a 3.5 inch handle in grade 5 steel zinc plating. The part code will start with an HP. Next we identify the diameter. 5 16 5 16 translates to a 5X. Then we identify the effective usable or grip length. 4 and 3 quarters is the length of the pin. 4 and 3 quarters translates to 4, 7, 5, 0. Then we identify the handle length or handle diameter. 3 and a half inches translates to an L within the part code guide. Then we identify is there a vinyl coating. In this case there is not, so we just enter a dash. Moving on to specials, we notice that there's nothing special about this part code. In that case, we'll enter three more dashes. Then we move on to the pin material. The pin material is a grade 5 steel. Grade 5 steel translates to a 5 in the part code. Then we move on to plating. In this case, the steel is plated with zinc plating. It does not say zinc in yellow, so it must be zinc clear. Zinc clear translates to a 1 within the part code. Number 3's part code will read HP5X4750L-51. Dash, 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 Please complete the rest of the part code quiz. Good luck.